the, the way it works, uh, Sean, I think we discussed this once before, is that the diaphragm, the, 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 the most important, uh, one of the most important uh, muscles in the, di in the, in the uh, body is the diaphragm. Uh, while you and I are talking, our diaphragms are going up and down in our chest about 15 times a minute. Every time it goes up, we, we exhale. Every time it goes down, it sucks air into the lungs and we inhale. And that's why uh, people like Floyd saying, I can't breathe is I can't breathe because there's so much pressure on me, on my chest and neck that I can't inhale because my diaphragms won't go down because uh, uh, I'm lying on a, a face down uh, there's uh, pressure on my back when you're lying in the prone position with pressure on the back from a knee in your back or uh, while they're trying to put handcuffs on, uh, it pushes all the organ, the uh, liver and the um, intestine up, upwards toward the uh, lungs and prevents the lungs from uh, diaphragms from moving. So the deaths in, in, this, in police restraints are, all, are, are usually asphyxia because they can't breathe because either uh, their neck or their back is being compressed uh, and blood can't get to the uh, brain. Uh, then at the time of the autopsy, they don't see anything. The, the compression of the, of the back uh, while the person's on the ground, uh, uh, preventing the diaphragm from, from um, uh, move, moving doesn't show up on an autopsy. So that's really? why... That's why when the Floyd people, when the prosecutor came, the prosecutor came out and said the diet, the uh, autopsy didn't find any evidence that uh, uh, the um, uh, the police restraint had anything to do with Floyd's death. Uh, the the response from a lot of doctors was, "What do you expect to find? There's nothing to be found. You got to look at the uh, at the at the um, uh, video as to what had happened." Uh, the autopsy, all autopsies, really medical examiners' autopsies, begin at the at the scene of death. That's where we find that. See that the hospital doctors, uh, pathologists, uh, when they do autopsies, they've have you know days and weeks of hospital records and all as to why the patient died, about cancer, again heart disease, Alzheimer's. They have all those records. When medical examiners are involved, most of our deaths are outside the hospital. They don't get in the hospital. It's in the street. They're if the fights, they may be hit by a car. Uh, and we have to go to the scene and see whatever information we can get at the scene. And that's why with Floyd, there was such an outrage because everybody could see from the witness photographs that uh, the police were preventing him from breathing. Uh, he kept saying 20 times or so, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And the police think, well, if you say you can't breathe, uh, it's a manipulation because we know, and we assume we're taught that if you uh, 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 talk, that you're breathing, and that's not true. I'm talking, bloviating to you. I'm not breathing right now while I'm talking right. in this fashion. Uh, right. So I could say I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And the police now, if they're taught that, uh, that's a serious uh, training issue. Uh, uh, one of the issues that a database will help will, will help define is how many people die, uh, uh, where do they die? Do they die in certain areas more commonly than others? What's the makeup of the people who die? Uh, and um, uh, the, the um, uh, ability to be able to deal with it uh, comes only after we get certain information. Is, is, is it a, a one bad apple that's causing the death or is it a structure of the way the institution functions? And we can get that information uh, uh, from uh, from a, a database. To, as in, as in most scientific stuff, you first have to see what the problem is. When I would, I knew as a medical, as a young medical examiner, that we had situations where police did bad things, but we were taught that that's he's a bad apple. Nobody else does it that way. And then as I've lived long enough to to see lots of. Uh, uh, deaths in uh, in the uh, medical examiner world realize that uh, this is a, a common situation, not just uh, a um, uh, a bad apple. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. 
and I'll catch you all on the next video.